I did, so my, my baby yesterday in the car, I said, what do you want to listen to? Thinking she'd say Under the Sea, right? Daryl, I presented seven other songs. Finally, I said, what do you want to listen to? You know what she said? She looked at me and she said, Dede song. So I don't know what that means, but I, I searched my musical lexicon and I said, okay, let's hit her with this. I hit her with um, Blue Daba D by Eiffel 65. That was the closest thing I could get to in my head to, uh, to Dede song, right? Actually, no, sorry. I started with the hamster dance, which is the most dead day song of all time, because it goes <laughs> Then on shuffle, blue came on, and then uh, she was like, I don't like this song. So I changed it. And then um, Lollipop open parentheses Candyman close parentheses by um, Aqua came on, and it reminded me, like, one of my favorite tweets of all time was, like, you remember how dance music in the 90s was just, like, one hottie singing her lungs out, and then some dude who sounded like a robot speaking non-sequiturs in a bassy voice? That song is, like, exactly that. Oh, my love, you know you are the candy man, and oh, my love, your wish is my command. Oh, my love, you know you are the candy man. And coming from Bounty Land. Then he goes, she goes, whoa. And then just some, some fucking schmo comes on and goes, I am the candy man. Oh, I am coming from Bounty Land. Oh, I am the candy man. Oh, coming from Bounty Land. Like that, we need to go back to that, man. That was unhinged. Can you believe that shit was on the radio? My like, you know, my mom was probably like in her early 30s when that song came out. She's bobbing her head. I'm in fourth grade. I'm bobbing my head. No one was like, excuse me. I, we got a new caller. Okay, caller, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, yeah, um, long time listener, first time caller. What the fuck was that insane song you just played and have played once an hour for the last three weeks? What the hell is going on? Why is nobody... Asking what you just played, this insane song where some robot goes coming from Bounty Land. Who calls the radio? It was the 90s. Everybody called the radio. I remember I, I'm old enough to have made a, a phone call to the radio request line. So here's the thing, all right? My favorite song at the time, Pretty Fly for a White Guy. I'm calling. I'm calling. I'm uh, busy. Burp, 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 busy. Burp, 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 busy. I get through. I got the radio on right next to me, right? They say, what song do you want to hear? I swear to God. As soon as they said, what song do you want to hear? They had started playing Pretty Fly for a White Guy on the radio. What am I going to do? I'm not going to be the bozo that's like, play the song. I'm requesting the song you're currently playing right now. So I went, uh, uh, can you, I just wanted to call in and see if you could play Miami by Will Smith. And then they go, sure, no problem. And then like two songs later, they played Miami by Will Smith. And the next day at school, I was like, hey, were you listening to 102.7 The Border at uh, at 6.15 last night? You know when they played Miami? That was my Miami. I did that. The one at 5.15, that one that was probably just preordained. That might have been payola or something like that. But the one at 6.15, that was me, man. I did that. That's like Twitch chat when the people suggest the game you're just going to play anyway. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but yeah, that's fair enough. People are like, you should play Sap. I'm like, oh, I'm glad you asked. Just for you, I'm gonna play Sap. No! Oh! I've actually, I called into the radio, I called into the radio once at my last office job too. Cause my boss, it was like a Friday. We're not getting that much done, to be honest. The radio was on in the office all the time. They were holding a contest to win a an extra large pizza. Can you imagine? T take a guess as to what you had to do to win a large pizza. First, you gotta be the seventh caller, and then you've gotta answer uh, 10 questions wrong. Holy cow, that's hard. So I remember I got through, this was on company time, by the way. Um, I got through and they were like, um, all right, question one, name something you don't bring to the beach. And I was like, um, rain boots. 
I don't remember the rest of the questions, but it was, I remember it being like, this is the easiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. And then after I won, I said, so should I bring in like the, should I go pick up the pizza one day and just bring it in for the office? And she was like, no, don't worry about it. Just take it. And I was like, whoa, sick. So I just, you know, I, one night for my parents, I was like, pizza's on me, baby. You said it wrong if you only had to give wrong answers. What are you talking about? You're bringing your rain boots to the beach? Feet are gonna be all sweaty, man. If it's raining? If it's raining, call me crazy. If it's raining, I don't go to the beach. You said things you don't bring? Okay, it's like a 14-year-old anecdote, okay? You might have to do your own linting on the bit in order to make it make sense. I promise you at the time, it made sense. Why are you trying to give me, yeah, you're like punching up my script here. Bozo. Don't lint the bit. Don't lint the bit. Don't yuck my yum, okay? Some of us love war crimes, okay? Shh. Let people enjoy things.